hey guys welcome back to my channel sorry i can't talk too loudly um it's like seven in the morning and i'm walking through a residential area it has been a minute since i put a video up uh, and that's just because so much has been going on so this video uh, is about my braces journey so i got my braces installed on the 20th of july uh, and today i'm off for my first monthly review so i will let you know how that goes and then later on in the video i'll take you through all the different tools that i use and all the different tips that i have learned so far hey guys so i'm almost at the orthodontist okay guys so i'm about to be seen from, for my uh what are we doing today uh, we're tightening them. Yes, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna tighten them. This is my orthodontist here. Okay, so we have the metal brace. Yeah. We need to uh, remove the elastics, and okay. so we need to get a, a bigger wire. On, okay. Okay. And then we tie everything else. Okay. Cool. And, and check that's it. If you're ready for the lower. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And is it gonna hurt? No. Okay. Never that's good. <laughs> okay. Perfect. That's good news. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll come back and tell you how I feel afterwards. So all done now, that was like a really quick session. So you can see I got green bands this time. Um, I'm getting my lower ones installed next month. So I'll keep you guys um, updated on that. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's a little bit later on. Um, I've got all the stuff that I use for my braces. So I'm just gonna take you through it. Um, so first of all, just to kind of give you a bit of a background as to why I wanted to get braces. Um, so I had them when I was 15 um, and I did not wear my retainer. Now I understand that you actually have to wear this retainer for life, but at the point I thought it was maybe for like six months to a year, and I didn't wear it anyway, and as a result, my teeth began to move back to what they were like before I had the braces and on. And since I started doing YouTube and a bit more on Instagram, um, I just started to, you just start to notice a few more things about yourself, and my teeth is one of them. Yeah, so if you do decide you want braces, you have to first go for a consultation and then they'll have to decide whether you can get them or not. They'll then take x-rays of your teeth, so of your mouth. You may actually need to um, pull some teeth out to make some room um, in order to get like a good fit for the brace. So then you get an option as to what type of brace you want. Do you want clear? Do you want Invisalign, I think it's called, or metal? Um, for me, I was happy to get metal, it didn't bother me, but also, and also it worked out as the cheapest option, which was great. I had to basically go to my dentist, to say to him that the orthodontist has confirmed that I can have braces, is he happy with it? He was happy with it, and then I got them installed. First day I got them on, oh my days, like the pain, it was real. I had ulcers literally on like both sides of my mouth and what was happening was the bracket was scratching the inside of my cheek. Oh, So they do give you some wax um, or you can just get it in like boots or somewhere like that. I take, took so many paracetamols um, and my mum was so kind, like she made me some really like soft foods. I don't live with my mum but literally I went to her and I was like, I need to stay here, like I need help. Um, and she just like cooked really soft foods and like packed it up for me so I could freeze it as well. The next thing is like, so you get through the pain and then you move on to the maintenance. So there's a few things that you need to basically change in your lifestyle in order to make sure that you're taking care of your braces. So first of all, there are certain foods that you need to cut out. So that is just anything too hard. So basically you're trying to not break your braces. So ice is one of them. I mean, if you crunch ice. Um, popcorn because it's like quite hard as well using your front teeth to bite into things um, so whether that's like a corn on the cob or something like that you can't do that or whether you're trying to eat like meat on the bone and you like want to chew it again you can't so what I had to start doing was basically like cutting up all my food um, and then putting it right to the back of my mouth and then chewing it that way I'm not gonna lie, it was really irritating. On the plus side, you may lose a bit of weight if that's what you wanna do because you just cannot be bothered to eat. So after every meal, I brush my teeth. Um, so before, before I had braces, I'll just brush in the morning, brush in the evening, whereas now I brush after every meal. Um, and you have to have, um, and they recommend that you get toothpaste with fluoride in it. Um, and then the next thing is flossing and then all the other stuff in between. So I'm just gonna count, so I'm gonna basically go through what I have. These interdental, you can see it, 
these interdental brushes. So basically, um, these can go into the sides of like each two. So like for each gap, you can then use these as a brush as well, because when you're brushing your teeth, you're not always gonna get everything. The next thing that I use and that I've discovered is super floss. So the good thing about super floss is you have a needle at the top here, you guys can see it, you have the needle and then you have the floss at the end that with the needle you can thread inside each uh like bracket or around the wire um, and basically floss your teeth so i was trying to use ordinary floss before and it was frustrating me so much i was like no no no, no. let me get super floss um, and it works well and i use this every single the day. next thing i have is this really horrible looking thing which is like a scraper so a friend actually recommended this to me and i use this to like try and clean just directly around the brackets um if there's anything that gets caught in the brackets as well i can take it out and just generally just around the teeth and this is just another added thing that i do each night just to make sure that my teeth are squeaky clean um, and that there's nothing left around my bracket before i go to bed um so as you can see i do use quite a lot of stuff oh and one more essential uh vaseline because your lips get dry honey your lips get dry so just walk around with that so that's kind of it so i do have quite a lot of stuff but the result is that you have clean and healthy teeth lastly i'd also recommend that you continue to see your regular dentist so every few months keep going for your checkups keep seeing the hygienist keep getting cleans like whatever you need to do whatever your standard is normally continue with that as well as seeing the orthodontist anyway i hope this has helped i hope you found this useful um, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or you can follow me on Instagram at Alex's blog if you want to DM me there. Um, and that also has a link to my website if you want to subscribe to that because I also blog about different things, lifestyle, travel, faith, etc. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.